you end up doing Robin Harris's voice uh, on Baby's Kids uh, animated movie, right? Right. Okay. Can you still do that, Bernie? That that uh, Robin Harris? Not like I did it back then. I used to, uh, not like I did it back then because it was for some reason I would I would mock when when Robin would call me Shaka Zulu. I said, "Get out of here, you black motherfucker!" <laughs> hey, it looked like a big of a tree. <laughs> And um, that's how I got the job. Uh, we were down here in um, Atlanta, damn, at the Comedy Act, because back then you only had one comedy club for black people, <laughs> Mike Williams' Comedy Act. And um, that was my closing, telling me how people how my, I miss Bernie, um, Robin Harris. And I would do Robin Harris, just like a bit of it, and, you know, it was, I would, I would get stand ovations on that. Mm. And um, it was a lady in the crowd, a producer, she's like, we're doing the, ba- the big um, Bebe's kids. They were gonna have Rich Little do Robin Harris. <laughs> 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 you know, they're trying to get Rich Little to do Robin Harris. I was like, can he do it? I'm like, no. Yo, they're gonna have, they, they had, they were gonna have an old white guy doing Robin Harris. Welcome to Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> so they, Yo, this, this guy was born in 1938. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> she she called me with Reginald Hudlin on the phone and some um, people, uh, some Paramount executives. Like, hey, Faison. I, I'm so sorry for forgetting her name. She's a beautiful lady. Um, so can you do can you do Robin for us? And I said, hey, motherfucker. Who are you? You black motherfuckers? Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. And I said, oh, but now can you do him just talking regular? Like every day. I was like, oh, well, it's talking regular. But is it... <laughs> This is, this is just like conversation, regular conversation. I said, oh, let me see. Then I said, okay, you black-ass kids, get in the car. You know, so that's how it came about. Okay, so then after that, you were in Meteor Man. Yeah, well, I think Meteor Man, yes. Yeah, that Robert Townsend was hot as fire back then. Right, because uh, I'm gonna get you, sucker. Was already out. No, no, that's that's um. Oh, that, that came later. Yeah, well, it was, but that was that was Keenan. Him and Keenan had. Oh yeah, yeah, no, no, you're right. Yeah, I, I messed that up. Uh, Hollywood Shuffle. Hollywood, Hollywood Shuffle, was, Shuffle was a big one, but then um, yeah. uh, hearts, um, five heartbeats. Five heartbeats. That's the one. Yeah, yeah. That was that was the smash. Yeah, that was it. Was, yes, it was a very good movie, but it wasn't received well believe it or not yeah but it's a cult classic oh, no, people still talk me. about B- it, big red good. to this day oh trust me <laughs> trust me um he was you know and he had um a sister named charlie and charlie has to you know back then they didn't have twitter so these people would have um assistants and stuff and so his assistant saw me at the comedy store and said um Hey, uh, uh, I saw you at the comedy store. Uh, Robert Townsend is shooting this movie called Meteor Man. Um, I was like, oh, cool. She said, can you be um, at the studio at, you know, 8.30? I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to audition. And um, so when I get there, 8.30, trucks and shit. I'm like, oh, shit, damn, this is a movie. Okay, dude. They doing a movie back then. I, I had only did about three or four movies back then. Um, but yeah, and it was a, it's a certain energy back then when you was you know the smell of production. And you know what it, you know what I'm talking about. It was mm-hmm. People moving shit. What the thing? Climb the fifty four and all that. And um, I, I run into a PA. And I was like, hey, I'm here to um, audition. Um, so what's your name, Faze? Oh, oh, here's your dressing room. I was like, dressing room? What kind of audition is this? So I get to the dressing room. There's some clothes there. There's a helmet. I was like, 
He said, uh, Robert Towns will be with you in a minute. So I'm sitting there like, what kind of fucking audition is this? Still hasn't dawned on me. I'm not auditioning. This motherfucker has hired me to just do this. He's already, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So Robert Townsend comes and he goes, hey man, what's up, man? Uh, oh, look, oh, yeah, it's crazy, man. So you got what we doing? I said, no, what are we doing? He said, uh, uh, you, um, you gonna be upstairs and uh, Bill Cosby's downstairs and he's um, making a TV move and all this and all. I said, I ain't got all this. He said, nigga, get dressed. <laughs> <laughs> and left. And he was so happy what I did there. He was doing this um, sketch show called Tinsel Townsend. Um, he was like, man, can you come in, you know? Because I, I work off the head good. It's like, I can read a script. And I'm like, this shit don't make sense. Um, so he liked that, that I can read a script and go, this is what you really were saying. This is what you really meant. This is what you, and um, we did the Tinsel Townsend, bunch of sketches, like, uh, contrary to uh, popular belief, people think Tyler Perry's the first, Robert Townsend had a studio in Hollywood back then, like a functioning studio. He took his money and bought a studio. So he was filming a, his TV show out of the studio. So, um, yeah, and then the earthquake came and crashed all that shit. 